Right, this morning we're at um, the Museum of Army Flying at Metal Wallop and uh, we've been invited to attend uh, the official opening of the Museum of Army Flying's DD exhibition. Right, with Staff Sergeant Barkway. Um, what do you think of the exhibition here this morning? I think it's very good, very good. The things that particularly take me are the tugs and the gliders. I think that's wonderful. Just sets it off yeah. as it should be. Well, you were there on D-Day. Uh, obviously, bears a resemblance to Yes, it's a, except we were in the dark and this is in the light. But no, it's very much like it would be a stream of tugs and gliders going into a mass landing. Yeah. Yes. So very, very well done. You're very proud to cut the ribbon this morning. I was indeed. I was very honoured to be asked to do it. I'm sure there are people who could have done it equally as well. But uh, no, I was very pleased to accept the invitation. I was very pleased that Peter could come. That really made the day. So, what have you got in the, under your arm there? This is the um, picture that they're having done for me. It's not quite finished yet, but when it is, I shall take that home. And the grandchildren will be pleased to see it. Okay. They're very proud of Grandpa, and uh, it will tell them more about what we did. Jolly good. Well, well thanks very much. Um, General David Goodman, is that right? Good morning. So, um, obviously, you're very proud of the exhibition here this morning. Yes, I am. I, I think it's a, it's a fitting tribute to what was achieved at D-Day, and it's all been made by volunteer helpers of the museum, using their own time and their own imagination and everything, and I think it, it's, a, it's a fitting uh, exhibition to, 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 to that particular occasion. Pretty big year at Middlewell up this year. You've got the air display on uh, later this year, yes. and you've got uh, D-Day as well. So a lot happening at Middlewell. There is. It's, it's a marvellous year for Middlewell. We've got the uh, the Prince of Wales, who is the uh, Colonel in Chief, is presenting the Army Air Corps' first Guidon uh, this May as well, and the air show, and the D-Day exhibition. And it's uh, it's a great year for Middlewell. So uh, any advice to all the viewers out there to come along and see the see the exhibition? Yeah, just come because you you will regret it if you don't. I can assure you. OK, well, th thanks for talking to us. And who have we got here, sorry? Uh, I was uh, Jeff's second pilot, and uh, we just did the job we were trained to do, that's all. Um, people say, well, we did a wonderful job, but I think Jeff would agree it was just like another exercise, really. Yeah. Hey, Peter had the task of telling me the courses to fly and how long to fly each course. He had a stopwatch. And, and he told me which course to head and then at the end of the specific, specific time to turn onto the next course and it was on the crosswind leg that we actually saw the bridge and knew we'd made it and it was just a case of landing then which we did into a pond <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe you received some injuries though I mean looking very fit now shot in the, in the wrist and uh, unfortunately it had to be amputated gangrene had set in and uh, in those days there wasn't a lot that could be done for gangrene, yeah. Well, I must admit, you're looking very fit anyway, so thank you, thank you so much for coming this morning. I think all the viewers appreciate that, so um, look forward to the celebrations. They're very modest, if I may say so, because as, as a feat of airmanship, it was incredible. Yes, I'm, I'm sure they are, actually. Yeah. So anyway, we look forward to the celebrations on, uh, well, here on June the 7th with the Herb, Herb Miller Orchestra. Indeed. And, uh, thank you all for coming. Well, I helped with some of the sets. I did some of the, um, the dummy heads, making them look like macho sh soldiers instead of women or something else like this, you know. And I also sculpted the big bronze bust of General Gale, who was commanded the 6th Airborne Division that um, helped win the war, I think, you know. You're telling me that there's something quite exciting happening over in uh, Normandy on June the when? June the 6th? Well, on June the 3rd, we're taking the big bust over to um, Normandy and we're going to take it to Romville where it'll be put in place for the Prince of Wales to unveil. And it's going to look over the cemetery at Romville where most of the 6th Airborne Division that the died died. And um, it's going to be very exciting, actually. How long did it take to make that? Over a few months, but hours here and there, not a solid block. I should think about two to three weeks all told, really, something like that. Yes. How heavy is it? Um, does it take a lot to move it? <laughs> three strong men. <laughs> yes. uh, one very, very strong man, which was Rick Chattel, who uh, moved it with, on his own. <laughs> well, Steve's a very strong man, aren't you, Steve? <laughs> no, he looks very strong. Very strong. <laughs> yes. So, what we're going to try and do on Tarrant TV is to come to um, Normandy with you and uh, follow you across 
and see, see what goes on. It's, it's quite a nice story, I think, for, for Andover viewers to watch. It'll be very exciting because there's going to be so much going on. I mean, they're going to have big parachute drops and services and, you know, the Queen's going and the Duke of Edinburgh and all the royalty are going over there. And I'm very lucky to be invited to go myself, actually. I think you've done a wonderful sculpture, so, I mean, you should be. <laughs> Thank you very much.